Stephen Kinnock. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, the Minister has spoken about the role of steel uh, in uh, these, this, the frigates and, and other key um, pieces of procurement that the MOD will be making. But I wasn't uh, particularly comforted by his comments on uh, the role that procurement will play in, in this case. Can he confirm that local content, local value, will play uh, a key role when decisions are made about procuring steel? Well, as the Honourable Gentleman knows, because he's, uh, he may have for a long time have been an expert, he's certainly something of an expert on the subject now, that the specification and standards of steel required for uh, naval warships uh, is not uh, the same as, as is available in many of the uh, routine um, uh, runs of uh, plate steel, for example, uh, that is provided by UK suppliers to date. And that is why there has been uh, different proportions of, of UK steel content in different types of uh, military platforms. The offshore patrol vessels, for example, have a thinner uh, plate than is currently available from any of the mills in the UK, which is why no UK mills chose to bid for the steel content that has been uh, contracted thus far. Uh, I can't tell him what the, whether there is capability at this stage for uh, the Type uh, 26 steel requirements, but I have made a commitment that we will be inviting steel manufacturers to understand what those capabilities are and give them an opportunity to bid.